Hello, clacky clacky man. No, it's always the same scene. Okay. <laughs> he just feels like a notification at the time, so I thought he was showing up to tell me something. What do these do, by the way? The scroll's been fulfilled. Okay. That's just the results thing. Chapter 2. The Cursed Inheritance. Doggy! He doesn't look... He's not looking great. <laughs> not a great dog face. <laughs> a little bit of a... A little bit of like a the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure artist doesn't know how to draw a dog situation. <clears throat> the murder at the Little Mermaid. Sebastian, no. Revenge. Racha. Is this a is this a, a Sherlock reference to a study in Scarlet? Trap door leading to the ceiling. <laughs> Hello. Why did that bugger give me a note when he knows damn well I can't read? Just a little gremlin man. An old rusty half of shears. A piece of stale bread. You can lie low for a couple of days in the old oarsman's place, down at the docks. Ah. Well that seems a little incriminating. Go hide in the oarsman place. But I can't read. Are you the murder man? Dressed up like Krampus? The, door, the window is latched. An empty bed, not warm. Flowers. The door does not open. What does that mean? <laughs> in what context does that door not open? Just ever? You can't go in this. You just can't go in this arrow. Oh, this is an arrow. Second trap door. So you can go from here to here. Does this door open? Okay. So these doors make it impossible to go here somehow, but you can go from one room to the other via the trap doors, and there's also another outside window over here. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> it's one of those, it's an old-timey alarm system. He's like the watchman, he's got a, he's got a rattler. One of those things that you spin it and it makes this like tick, this crinkly, ticking, popping noise thing. Alarm! Alarm! A breaking. Watchman's lantern. Watchman's alarm rattle. Watchman's spear. He's got a spear. A hard day being a watchman. At first, I thought he was one of the uh, one of those door knockers, or like back in the day when they started like industrializing and having these like very specific work hours for people to have in like factories or whatever. Uh, there was somebody whose job it was to wake everybody up at the right time because we didn't have alarm clocks or even like <clears throat> consistent time telling from person to person everywhere. So there was like just like a town dude who had a big stick and his job was to knock on the windows of various people that lived on different floors at the right time to wake them up so they'd go to work in the morning. Shards of glass lie in the mud. When time telling was such a a, 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 a a struggle that it was just someone's entire job just to tell time for everyone else. More flowers. Revenge. Err. RR is someone's name, maybe? You are. D oh, that's your face! If you look at it here, I thought this was the top of their head, and they're looking down. Like this is the little fringe at the front of their, at the front of their hair. But now that their face is like that, they're looking up. A walking cane, another ring with a ruby. The man is not breathing. Whoever's in prox proximity with the r the ring seems to the like dying. To my dear Maurice, the watch is ticking means it does not tell us when they died or anything like that. That'd be very specific. There's only a very specific... It's a, it's a tropey thing in, like, The Last of Us and a few other... Uh, and a few mystery stories where they make up a contact... They, they make it so that the... Uh, hello? Huh. <clears throat> it seems like it could be about the same size for the idol to fit in. But it's a music box. My fair lady, right? Yeah. A washing bowl filled with slightly bloody water. 
my proudest, my proud beast master, dear proud beast master, said everything wrong. Said, said it all wrong. I have attended our departed brother's send-off and accepted the keepsake that he bestowed upon our brotherhood in his will. I shall send this letter, letter tomorrow, September 10th. I hope it will reach you without delay. Already it is midnight. I will retire to my bed, for this has been a long day. May Griffin awaken. Proud Beast Initiate. Okay. It seems like this is the guy who was killed, and his keepsake was probably the idol, and has been stolen. And he was killed to steal it. Akin to the well. But why'd you kill someone then just retired to bed if you, like, broke in, obviously? Seems like this was gonna go poorly. We only found 6 out of 26? People just hanging out down here, huh? Look at this nightmare! Oh, that's the mermaid. What a horror. Given what's in this up here, I almost wonder if this is a direct reference to Oberdin, given the, uh... They would obviously be aware of it. The door of the street is shut with a latch, so I guess the music is, is drowning out the alarm. At the Little Mermaid's Inn, amazing Evans' musical performance. On September 9th, event shall commence circa 11 p.m. They got a green, a brig, and a blair. Types of wine. <clears throat> Where'd that blasted boy go? I really need a piss. Keys. Partially peeled lemon. A large kitchen knife. Dear Oscar Boyton, It has come to our attention that the good owner of the Little Mermaid offers services to those who want to transfer products that are less than agreeable to the, tr the authorities. I will come by in three days. If you still have some spare space in your gin barrels and are willing to earn extra money, reach out to me. Arriving on September 11th. The day that the letter is going to be sold, uh, sent. Hmm. So they smuggle stuff in gin barrels. Robert Redruth, escaped convict. Does not look like the person upstairs. So maybe they're staying in the other room and then escaped. Oh, mother, forgive me. I will never gamble with something so dear to me again. Key? N Navaha folding blade. And a violin. It's a very boxy. Just deal the next one. It's all luck anyway. Remember you, as an agent of our trading company, have to reflect its values in the fullest. One, never be late. The client leaves the port on the 10th. Be persuasive. Do not take no for an answer. We must get the client's product. Be effective. Once you have the product, deliver it to me immediately with the servant boy. Most importantly, what, no matter what you do, be mindful of our reputation. Our names must remain spotless. How's gambling playing to that exactly? So absolutely everybody has a knife of some kind, so... Many of people could have opened someone up. Be calm, John. He was a perfect gentleman. He brought me a drink and then retired upstairs. A stiletto blade. To Annie. You are beautiful like a rose. For you, I will take any blows. Annie, you are like a glass of wine. Your hair is very fine. I will find gold in a mine, if that makes you forever mine. Your piglet full of love. <laughs> what a note to end on. Also horrible poem. Rain rhymed mine with mine, and also just generally just sounded awkward and shitty. Tell me, what does that man have that I lack? Uh, a wound. <laughs> a, a, a stab wound. Well, it seems like 
It seems like these people wouldn't have killed him because they're all busy doing this at the moment. I can't, I guess I hadn't clicked on that key yet. Uh... Must just be keeping track of everyone's bets. A G W W M E A G J B O B A G J B A B. I'm guessing they're currently that group. John. J B would be John. This does not have a name, does it? Like those names backwards is gonna bother me. Willard Wright. Isn't that the guy from last time? The Dandelion Room has Willard Wright, and the Forget Me Not Room has Ash Blair. So those are dandelions. And that must be a Forget Me Not? I don't know what a Forget Me Not is, but that's not a dandelion. But you're not Willard, Willard Wright. So Willard Wright was supposed to be in that room? Raises some questions about the letter. Nothing about that area is collectible. I have once again somehow failed to collect text from somewhere. Nothing here is like underlined. Her name is Annie. So she's either AG or AB, since that's the current game, and hit that's JB. And so you're either AG or AB. What does that man have that I lack? Be calm, Johnny is a perfect gentleman. He bought me a drink and then retired upstairs. Oh. Henry Parker. There we go. Those names are underlined on the, th the rattle thing. So the guy outside is named Henry Parker. I think, yeah, I think I need to name him, so let's go ahead and do that. That's Annie. John. Some, some, okay, so someone crept into someone's room through the... I would say trap door? While Blah and Blah and Blah were playing car, cl cards with loud music, a fight ensued upstairs and Blah got stabbed with a Blah. So we don't know the weapon yet. <clears throat> So we'll work on the names first. Ash Blair. I think this is Ash Blair. Because they don't resemble the character we met before. Willard Wright was the guy that killed someone with the, the statue.
Oh, these are tabs. Green, Breeze, and Blair. So B is Breeze. G is green. So I believe it's Abigail, I mean Annie Green, and John Breeze. This could be Ash Blair if neither of the people who were in the room were the person who actually owned it. Person doesn't seem to have any kind of name. Visible. So Ash Blair has a has a tab open and a room. Where did that guy go? I need a piss. Yeah, that does make me think that the guy who died... I don't know, they got a- they got a- they got like a-, a they seem to be in a nightgown, so I think they were sleeping. Yeah, there's all their clothes. So I think they were from this room. I don't think they're the missing boy. I was thinking for a second if the boy's missing, maybe the, uh, the staff member walked in on something and got killed. So no one hears the alarm. This might be Robert Redruth. Oh yeah, it's just literally the same face, isn't it? Yeah. I guess that's just the actual same face. This place is called the Mermaid or whatever, so we don't have a name for the owner. Number ninth. Uh, the letter. Get a letter. Dear Oscar Boyton. I should probably be filling this in as I go instead of trying to f collect all the clues and then fill it in at that point. Because some, some of this information comes right by me, but I'm like not filling this out yet, which there's no real reason for that. <clears throat> so I don't think a certain character looks like Willard, right? You actually might look like a will, right? See, can I go back? It remembers me? Cool. Hmm. I will retire to my bed for this has been a long day. Is that Willard Wright? Oop. No, I think that is Willard Wright. The dead guy. It's hard to be totally sure, but that would make sense. So then the, the third person playing the game is Ash Blair. Yeah. That would be true to the, uh... That'd be true to the whole trend where 
this is just an endless series of deaths for whoever's involved with the idol and so on. So, Annie Green. God, these are scattered everywhere. Annie Green. Annie Green. Annie Green. She's just been hanging out, playing matches all night. Then we had John Breege. <clears throat> Oscar came in for a bit to play. M.E. Be Maurice Evans. That's just the name that's left over. W.W. That's, uh, Willard Wright. And then Ash Blair. All right. Wow, those all disappeared from the entire board. So we have all of these correct. And Robert Redruth should be outside, so I guess you're Henry Parker. Nope. The only person here is Maurice Evans. He's talking about, because yeah, Maurice Evans lost. <clears throat> he said, I'll never gamble something so precious again. He got obliterated all the way down to negative 10 on his bet. And so that makes sense that now he's, I don't know, indebted to the bar? I don't know, he's playing, he's playing instruments now and not gambling. All right, so. Dandelion Room. So Willard Wright is in the Dandelion Room. Okay, so everything's correct there. So Willard Wright's room with the trap door. While John, Breege, Annie, Green, and Ash, Blair were playing Clouds of Loud Music, a fight ensues upstairs, and Willard Wright got stabbed with something. So none of these people crafted and killed them. It's probably not the bar owner. And Maurice Evans was plant was gambling here. And he said that he's retiring to his bed. The question the issue here though is that like this would be weird evidence to leave behind, so I'm assuming that this was written by Maurice Evans. Yeah, I've attended our departed brother's send-off. This sounded like a murder note the first time I read it, but no, it's just talking about last last uh, chapter's uh, will and situation there. But he just burned someone to death, uh, and now he's here. So today is September 9th. So he's some sort of cultist. Revenge. RR. Robert Redruth. So he just politely wrote his name on the wall? Is that really what happened? Is it that easy? Uh... Rusty half of shears? I guess we'll find out. Nope. Nah, I guess he wouldn't have gotten through the trap door because this window is still latched from the inside. So they must have broken in through the window. I'm being too clever about it. Uh, 
that's not the solution. Okay, the doors don't open, which is ambiguous. You can't. That is. I assume they just mean they're locked. So there's three ways into the room. Hmm. The door is, the, the door does not open, and his key is in the back of the door, holding it in place. The key being on the inside means that they didn't use the door to get in. The window would make sense. The glass being outside is usually supposed to indicate that the gla the window was broken from the inside. So they, they did get in through the trap door, probably. My dear Maurice. What does that mean? So RR was posted on the wall here, so RR is probably written on the wall to incriminate RR, who also is outside, seemingly. I don't know, it seems like RR would have done it, because there's a weird lay there's a weird note about what to do afterwards. That's pretty incriminating. Yeah, I briefly thought that maybe he lost, maybe Maurice lost against him in cards and took his keepsake. And so he either killed him or ordered someone to kill him. But then why wouldn't he have his watch back? His watch is still there. So he didn't, he didn't go f kill him for his watch. Robert Redruth, Willard Wright. Oh, that's correct. they come in through the door and then escape through the window? Because they could have intentionally put the, the door thing, the key back in the door. John Breege, Annie Green, Ash Blair. Okay, the window's not broken enough to go out of it, or into it. It's broken enough to unlatch it. I came into the window. I have no idea how close or far we are from being up. These must be all correct, because we have their, we just know who they are. Unless someone's impersonating someone, somehow. And it sure seems like Willard Wright was stabbed, although stabbed might be the first... No, that seems pretty stabbed. Uh, I don't think I can analyze the wound to figure out what the wound was caused by. Why does it, why is he carrying sticks? It was damn well I can't read. Was he just being... Was he just taking shelter in this place? Like, 
This guy was letting him do it? Are they going to smuggle the killer out with the barrels? Or something unrelated? It might be that Oscar was knowingly taking care of him and keeping him in here. That's why he has a note to go laid low. And that's like unrelated to the murder. Because Ash Blair was given the room, which is you on the right. What am I missing about who would have been the killer here? Yeah, if you rented the room to Ash Blair, then maybe this guy just had to wa wander off and go take shelter somewhere else for a while. And it could be that Ash Blair got to him via the, the locked door. His bed is specifically not warm, which means it has not been used. And Ash Blair just started playing as if to try to create an alibi. Like he wasn't here until recently. So Ash Blair crept through... Willow to write's room into the window. Uh, trapdoor. And then who would have been playing at the time? They need loud music, which means that uh, M.E. is already has already lost, so it would be... O.B. is playing cards. Okay. Okay. We're closer. Oh, we don't have Ash Blair's weapon yet. Is that it? A dagger. He's currently building a... an alibi. There's the dagger. There we go! A man going by the name of Ash Blair crept into Willard's room through the trap door to steal something important. But when he opened the music box, it woke Willard up, and a fight ensued. In the fracas, Ash stabbed Willard and attempted to frame an, es an escaped convict. Okay, I pretty much put that all together. I didn't necessarily get the specific element down of why he killed him, so that's interesting. So him opening the music box is what woke him up, otherwise he wasn't planning on killing anyone, he was just trying to steal. So he's, he went he went in to steal the statue, and then the music box the box was a music box, and that woke him up, and then they had to fight. All right, we got there eventually. <laughs>